guys, we all love when cosmetics work, but sometimes they just don't meet our expectations. And in this video, I will talk you through a few products that just <laughs> disappointed me, simply speaking. We're gonna start with my heartbreaking disappointment because I've had such a high hopes for this range. It's um, a water serum by Hadalabo. My all-time favorite Japanese brand Hadalabo decided to expand to European markets and started selling their range in Rothman in Poland. I bought a few items from the series and the first one I've opened was the serum. Even though they say the products are the same as in Japan, I'm unaware of the equivalent of this serum, so I don't really have anything to compare it with. My first impressions were really good. The serum is very thick, very moisturizing. My skin felt like a sponge that was fully absorbed. It was a really good effect until the next morning when I woke up with the small spots. I gave it a break and applied it again the day after, just a smaller amount. And by the evening time, I've had more lumps. I gave it a week break and tried again with unfortunately the same effect. For now, all I can say is that this serum causes breakouts for me and uh, I'm just disappointed. The next one, I bought it in Korea last year. It's a Misha Magic Cushion Cover. It's supposed to be like a BB cream uh, with a higher SPF because it's a 50 plus in a cushion in a very easy to apply way. It sounds all great, but it makes my skin so cakey. It feels like old thickened drier version of a BB cream and it just looks awful on my face. It looks like I have a mask of a cheap foundation. So as much as I love the concept, it just doesn't work for me. Next one up, I'm always searching for something that promises to improve the pores, clean them, uh, get rid of all the blackheads. So that's one of them. It's like a toner, essence kind of thing that's supposed to close your pores, make them tiny, clean them out. But in reality, it's full of alcohol and it does nothing. I don't know how it even passed to the Korean market because they avoid at all costs anything that has high content of alcohol. They just find it very drying and in the long term not beneficial to the skin at all. So I really don't know who is buying it. I found another use for it. It is great as an aftershave and it works great for freshly shaved legs to heal up uh, all the <laughs> wounds and the reds don't disappear in a blink of an eye. So, as we say in Poland, nie ma tego złego, co by na dobre nie wyszło. Hey! Next one up is one of the most famous Japanese cosmetics after Hadalabo. It's like a signature Japanese um, skin conditioner. It looks like a white water, almost like rice water. You can put it in a spray bottle, you can use it from head to toe, on face, on the skin. It's supposed to nourish, moisture your skin without a need for a moisturizer. For me, it feels like a water. Have you ever been on holidays and <laughs> had a swim in a lake or a river when you have like a really nice uh, water? So that's how it feels using it. For some, I guess it would work. For me, I just don't feel it. I don't resonate with this. I did find a purpose of it though. I used to put it in a small bottle and use it after the gym and a shower. It was just so quick to apply it. However, I shared it with my sister who has a sensitive skin. She said it's all right. <laughs> she said that her cats want to lick her like crazy after using this. So I guess cats approve. Next one up, I don't really know what to do with them now because I have many, are sheet masks. I bought them as a set, as a package. I bought them because they were in top 10 K-beauty on Amazon, but also they've had a lot of really good opinions. They were also quite cheap. I mean, the price per sheet mask as bought in a bigger set, it's actually very, very good. But it turns out they do absolutely nothing. I feel no difference, I see no difference. They look quite attractive. Each of them have a different property. One is with, you know, collagen, with a snail, with cucumber. So they sound good, but they do absolutely nothing. I'll finish them off, but I won't buy them again. Last disappointment to 
to be honest a complete experiment and almost for a laugh to start with so I'm not even bothered that it doesn't work for me. For someone who has never heard of them it might sound really weird but let me explain. <laughs> These are shampoo and a conditioner for horses. The story goes that Mene and Tail brand uh, was making shampoo for horses but the owners were amazed with how the horse hair looked so <laughs> they created a version for humans. If you have a moment you can check all the reviews. A lot of people are very very happy but for me I say shampoo just doesn't work. The consistency is very thick and very moisturizing for both. Shampoo just doesn't work for me, but it might as well be because my hair are fine and they only tolerate certain kinds of shampoos anyway. I don't really care, it doesn't work, it was really funny for me <laughs> to use shampoo for horses. Uh, conditioner is alright. I wouldn't say my favorite, but it's alright. Shampoo is probably going to one of my friends <laughs> if they will want it. Or I have a friend who actually have a horse, so maybe <laughs> it's a gift for them. I'm glad that the negative video finished with a funny accent with uh, horse shampoos. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's keep it positive. I hope you are all doing really well. Take care of yourselves. See you later, guys. Bye bye.